Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we'll look at how to create hyperlinks in Blackboard. There's several times where you're going to need to create clickable hyperlinks as part of this course. There's three places that you can do that, in your messages, discussion boards, and your assignment submissions. Um, I'm using Blackboard, the online learning system, in this video, so let's take a look at how to do that. First of all, here's a Blackboard course that I'm going to create my links inside of. Um, be before I can create a link, I need something to link to. So the best way to do that is go ahead and open up a new tab on your web browser. Go to the destination that you want to link to. I'll just link to our beautiful college website. And you can highlight the URL here in the address bar. Right click, copy. And that places a copy of the URL on your clipboard that you can paste into your messages later. So that'll be useful in a minute. So let's go back to the Blackboard course. Now there's three places that you can uh, create clickable hyperlinks. The first is messages. So if I make a new message, and I'm not going to set up the um, recipients, I'm not actually going to send this message, but I'll show you how to set up the formatting. Here's the buttons for creating and deleting a hyperlink. You notice that they're grayed out right now. And there's a reason for that. First we need to put some text in here. So here's a link to uh, the college website for you to click on. So as soon as I select some text to become the link, you'll notice my hyperlink buttons are now active. So it assumes whatever is selected is going to be the clickable text um, within your message. So if I click insert hyperlink, here I can set up the link path. So now I can just right click and paste that URL that I had copied earlier. And then these other options really aren't that important. The one that you might be interested in is your target. Now normally it would open in the same tab that you're currently in, but I'd like this to open in a new tab. And that way students will have their Blackboard tab open and they'll have a new tab with the college website and then we're not closing Blackboard for them by accident. All right, so I set a new window, say insert, and you can see my message now has a clickable hyperlink inside of it. I can't actually click on it here because this is an editor, but once the message is sent and people view the message, it will be a clickable hyperlink. It's just displayed this way so you know that you have it set up. You want to edit your hyperlink, you can highlight it, click the same insert button, and now we can change the URL if we decide to link to a different page or we don't want it to open in a new window. Um, so that's how to create a clickable link in a message discussion boards pretty much the same thing. So if I click on discussion boards, I just need to go into a discussion, create a new thread, and if I scroll down, again I'm not going to fill this out because I'm not going to submit it, um, but the same buttons are here in your formatting bar. So sometimes when you create a clickable hyperlink, you want it to actually be the URL of the website that they're going to be going to so they can see what the actual destination is. You can easily just paste that in Right, so there's our URL. If I highlight it, you notice it's not clickable yet. I can now insert a hyperlink, put the URL in, open it in a new tab, and hit insert. And now I have a clickable hyperlink there. You can do the regular message style as well. So here's a link to CCBC. And you can select as much or as little text as you like. Insert your hyperlink, open in a new tab, insert. Alright, so either method will work. Now I could submit this and this is would be clickable links on the discussion boards. Let's look at putting a link inside of an assignment. So there's several assignments this semester where you'll be asked to post your assignment to your web space using FTP and then you'll need to um, send me a clickable link so that I can grade your assignment. So you'll notice when we go to assignments the comments here there's no formatting bar for the comments. So we can't make a clickable link here in the comments section of your assignment. However, under the assignment submission, you can do a text submission. So if I click on write submission, there we go. We get the standard uh, message window with a full formatting bar and we have the hyperlinks. So here I can paste in the URL, highlight it, click on insert hyperlink, paste in the URL again, open in a new window, insert and that's all you need to submit. That way when I receive your assignment I can click on the URL, it'll open up in a new tab, I can take a look at it, do the grading, submit your grade, um, and everybody's happy.
So I hope you learned something about creating clickable hyperlinks inside of Blackboard. See you in the next video.